Your computer is powered on, the fans are running, but your monitor isn't getting any signal. If you're facing this issue right now, let me show you a quick solution. Let's go! There are various reasons why your PC is in this state. But before we delve into them, it is important to note that there are specific hardware components responsible for this issue. Number 1. The cables. Number 2. The monitor. Number 3. The RAM sticks. Number 4. The PSU. And in worst cases, this could be your GPU. However, instead of attributing blame to any specific components, it is advisable to check each one systematically. Before we proceed, I want to remind everyone following these steps are four PCs that were previously working but now have this issue. If your PC is newly built, please refer to the video at the top right side corner of your screen instead. With that said, let's begin. First, let's check the cables whether it be HDMI or DisplayPort. Try it with another monitor if you have a spare one. Or you could also try a different HDMI or DisplayPort cable on your PC. If the monitor still shows no signal, then the issue might not be with the cables. So let's move on to the next step. If you have a laptop, console, or other devices that connects to a monitor, try using your monitor with it. This will help determine if your monitor is causing the issue. If your monitor shows no signal with other devices, then it's likely the problem lies with your monitor. However, if it does show display signal, then it might be something else. Monitors and cables rarely break before other PC parts, at least based on my experience. But it is better to check them before attempting anything else. The next component we'll check are the RAM sticks, as they are commonly responsible for monitor signal issues. Before removing the RAM sticks from the motherboard, make sure to power drain your PC. To do that, unplug it from the outlet and press the power button to eliminate any remaining power. This precaution helps prevent a static discharge. After doing so, remove the RAM sticks from the motherboard. If you don't know how to remove the RAM sticks, please check out the video at the top right side corner of your screen. Now, just clean the dust from the RAM sticks and the RAM slots, as dust can interfere with clear contact with the motherboard. Use a dry brush like this one for cleaning. After doing so, reinsert the RAM sticks, power on your PC and see how it goes. If you're still not receiving any signal after this, then we'll proceed to an unconventional troubleshooting. I need you to grab an eraser like this and use it to clean the dark residues on the RAM stick circuit connectors this way. These dark residues prevent the motherboard from detecting the RAM sticks, so we need to clean them thoroughly. Once you have cleaned the dark residues with the eraser, make sure to brush off any eraser dirt before reinstalling the RAM sticks in your PC. After reinstalling the RAM sticks, you turn on your PC and you should have a monitor signal at this point. If it still doesn't work, then this might be a PSU problem, especially if you were gaming or rendering before the PC problem started. It is important to use a PSU tester like this to assess the PSU stability. Remember, just because the fans are running and RGB lights are on doesn't guarantee that the PSU is providing enough power for the entire system. So, be sure to test the PSU with a PSU tester. Alternatively, if you have a spare working PSU at home, use that to power your PC instead. If it turns on and provides monitor signal, then it's clear that your PSU is the problem. If your PC doesn't still provide monitor signal even up to this point, then you're facing the worst case scenario, which could indicate a GPU problem. So have your GPU tested in a working PC. You might need to ask a relative or a friend with a compatible PC to help. If that is not possible, then take your GPU or the entire PC to a local shop and have them test it for you. If your GPU functions in another working PC, then your motherboard may be faulty. However, if the GPU doesn't work in another working PC, it suggests that the GPU itself might be dead. I've made a video that covers warning signs before your GPU fails, which you might have noticed in your PC before losing monitor signal completely. Feel free to watch the video on your screen for more details. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out and if it does, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Once again guys, this is Mac, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.